Hey guys, it's Marta Geek. In this video, I have a hands-on look and review of the Pixio PX C 348C 34 inches ultra wide monitor that was sent to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. Now, I decided to go ahead and accept to do a video for this monitor because I've been tempting to get into the ultra wide universe when it comes to monitors, right? I, all this time I've been using 16 by nine conventional monitors, 27, 32 inches. But uh, I decided to go ahead and try this monitor, which is a 34 inches, like I said, 21 by nine when it comes to ratio, 21 by nine monitor. And I can see it looks pretty good on the desk. That's one thing that I was actually worried if it's a, it was gonna fit properly on my desk setup that I have. And I gotta say, it does fit nice and I actually like and enjoy working on an ultra wide monitor. I didn't think I was going to because like I said, I've been used to 16 by nines and I'm, I'm enjoying it. I've been enjoying it and so much that I think I might upgrade later on in the future to a better, more expensive monitor. But this monitor is meant to be a budget, game-friendly monitor for those that are on a budget. Of course, this monitor, you could get it right now for less than $400 as, as I'm making this video. And it is really cool. So first of all, when it comes to the unboxing, you're gonna get a big orange box, right? And the unboxing is very simple because all you have in the box is just the stand, right? Which comes separate from the arm that's holding the monitor on the back. And uh, that's it, you have to just put it together, right? It has a couple screws there where you're gonna line it up and make sure it actually fits properly. And to mount it behind the monitor, all I did is was take out the monitor, leave it on the phone, and from right there, just place it over the little whole circle on the back which has also rgb that ring right there is actually rgb and snap it in it snaps in once it snaps in you can easily by yourself lift it up and it's ready to go now when it comes to inputs inside or in the bottom of the monitor you're actually going to find two hdmis 2.0 which are capable of 100 hertz okay this monitor is capable of 144 hertz but to pull off that 144 hertz you have to actually plug your computer or any other device to the display port which is a display port 1.4 is going to be capable of 144 hertz it also has a usb-c port the usb-c port actually is capable of delivering 65 watts of power at the same time as you're transferring video. So the cool thing and the awesome thing about this is that if you have a Steam Deck like I do, you don't need a dock at all. You don't need a dock if you're gonna play your, your, your games on the big screen because all you have to do is just plug in a USB-C cable, plug it into your Steam Deck, and that's it because it's actually gonna charge your Steam Deck as is transmitting video to the screen. That is freaking awesome. And of course, it's also gonna be comp compatible with uh, computers as well, like a Mac, some MacBooks can be charged and play at the same time with power delivery 65 watts, some PC laptops as well, but keep in mind some laptops might require more power to um, charge while playing or using it at the same time but it would still charge your laptop no matter what laptop it is some of them is going to charge you faster Ch some of them may charge it slower depending on the requirement of that laptop the cool thing also in the back is that you it has like a little bit of cable management there where you can actually put it you know the cables line up a little bit very cool i actually i'm using Right now, I'm actually using all the cables. When I recorded this portion of the video, I was not using the display port yet until I actually bought it because I, I wanted to buy an exclusive display port cable that can actually plug to my laptop because my laptop does not have the other big normal end to the display port. It has the mini display port. So I had to buy the cable because I wanted to take advantage of that 144 Hertz full screen awesomely. So that's what I did. And right now my laptop is actually connected to the monitor using display port from mini display port to the normal display port. And it is incredible. 
incredible. Uh, that's how this monitor actually shines when you're playing video games natively using the ultra wide space of the monitor uh, at 144 hertz or you can actually of course lower down to 120 hertz um, like you see here on the monitor uh, when you go to the display settings on the monitor when it's connected to the display port you can actually choose from 60 hertz 120 hertz 100 hertz and 144 hertz so that's up to you what you want to use normally i keep it on 120 because i don't want to like push my laptop too much even though my laptop is way capable of pushing up to 300 hertz because of the video card that it has but you know i think 120 hertz it's just perfect it's the sweet spot for me and it works really damn good and like you see there the monitor the, the computer actually recognizes the the monitor as you know 4, 34 40 by 1440p and the hertz that you change it to so that is awesome the other cool thing about this monitor is that yes it has rgb in the back as well uh, the ring of rgb and it is nice to have it there but it's not that bright so if you're like in a lit room you're not gonna be noticing it at all at all i was hoping it was a little bit more brighter that way it, it splashes the light from the wall and actually you know surrounds the the, the screen with uh, rgb but no you actually have to turn the lights off to actually notice the lights behind the wall so it's not that intense of a color that you're gonna get that's good for some people but some people might want it a little brighter some people might not but you know that's up to you that's a personal preference stance. but yes it has rgb in the back and you can actually change it if you go to settings you can actually change it to red blue black uh, not black green or, or just one color or you have it cycle to every color or you could just turn it off completely if you don't like that uh, also on the back what you're going to find is the button that you're going to be using your settings with the button you can actually control the volume the brightness the user interface or the change from settings from inputs or you can actually go and uh, get into the settings section and control everything from color you can control the colors of the monitor like going to fps strategy mode uh, movie mode standard mode and user mode if you go to the input section you can actually change it to picture by picture what picture by picture does is that it actually lets you connect two video sources at the same time to the monitor so that means like if you have a your, your computer connected to one port and you have the steam deck like i have right here the steam deck or playstation or whatever you want to another port you can it's actually going to split the screen in two and you're going to be able to watch both sources at the same time that's awesome because you could play video games in one side of the screen and you could just do your work on the other side of the screen and they're not overlapping because they're they're just being it's like two monitors blended together with split right down the middle virtually or with an invisible line it's very very cool and it works flawlessly something very cool that i love about a third you know ultra wide monitor that you can't do typically on a, th on a 16 by 9 that's something really cool yes you can do picture and picture but i think the picture by picture is awesome the size of both screens is around 20 inches both sides of the screen now when you hook it up to a console for example on the xbox one on the xbox series s that i did like you see here on the video it's gonna look pretty good everything you know really nice it uses the full screen or when you go to settings you can see that the xbox actually is compatible of 4k and 1080p that's really awesome 4k and 1080p when it's in 4k it runs at 60 hertz in 1080p you can actually run their monitor at 120 hertz so yes you can put your monitor or uh, play your xbox series as here and this monitor 1080p 120 hertz and on the playstation 5 uh, they hook it up as well but um it, it does recognize the monitor as a 4k monitor right but for some reason i don't know why it says 1440 not supported not a supported monitor i don't get it why because it's properly hooked up to the hdmi i'm using the proper cable 
The monitor is 1440p, 3440 by 1440p. And for some reason it says 1440p not supported. I have no idea why, but it is running, like you see, it is actually running at 4K, so okay. Uh, everything else is really recognized. 120 hertz is recognized on the screen. Everything they see there actually recognize on the screen with the PlayStation 5. So I have no problem there. But the awesome thing about this monitor is when you're playing it on a PC, when you're taking advantage of that awesome, awesome big screen with uh, the proper 144 hertz or 120 hertz, it looks incredible. And this, uh, I actually played Marvel Midnight on the PC and wow, it just looks incredible. It just looks incredible. The surroundings, the the characters, the colors, very nice and popping. Um, the monitor is four four hundred and forty nits bright. Okay, four hundred and fifty. I believe the max is four hundred and fifty nits bright. Four thousand when it comes to the contrast contrast ratio. And I think I didn't mention, but the panel is actually a VA panel, and the curvature is actually a fifteen hundred R curvature which is good because it's not that that curved. I don't like the monitors that are very, very, very curved. This is monitors curved, but it's a little bit more flatter than your typical very wide, very curved monitor. So I really like that it's not too curved. When you're standing right in front of it, you can barely notice the curve unless you, you know, like move around, then you notice the curve uh, uh, a lot more. But when you're playing video games here, oh my God, it just looks incredible, especially when the video games are being played from the um, computer to the monitor using the full screen. It just looks gorgeous. That's the way to actually play it. Yes, you can use widescreen on the PlayStation 5 and I've got Xbox Series S, but some of the colors are going to be looking kind of weird maybe. And some of the games are going to look weird because they're going to be like stretched out to the ultra wide. Um, and unless the game has an option that's to play an ultra widescreen, then it's going to look kind of weird, right? But when you put it on the screen, you play the games on the screen at 16 by 9, it does look good. It does look good. The Xbox and the PlayStation 5, you can actually change the monitor to 16 by 9, play like that. And the colors and the gameplay, everything looks pretty good. When you're playing a monitor, a video game on the console, and it's at 16 by 9, you're, it's basically a 27 inch. That's what it turns into a 27 inch with black bars on both sides. And it looks good. I don't have a problem with playing video games like that. I did play a lot of Hogwarts Legacy on my PlayStation 5 using the the 16x9 and totally loved it. It was kind of hard to actually put down because it's an awesome game that I, I'm still playing. Even though I finished it, I'm still going back to it and doing some extra play time there. So yeah, this monitor, the cool thing is that it's pretty cheap. It's a gaming monitor with a lot of gaming settings. For the first time, I'm using a 34 inch ultra wide monitor and i am really really liking it playing here especially when you're doing work because when you're doing work and you have like your video software uh, editing videos and all that it's a pleasure it's an awesome being able to play on the full screen or edit videos on the full screen it is really really good i am really enjoying it and i was worried that the colors and the monitor was not going to work great with my video editing but I do like it. The monitor actually holds up. You know, the colors looks great. The screen looks great. So right now, honestly, I'm going to be using this monitor for a while until I actually have my, uh, money to like, splash out and get an OLED monitor, which is going to cost me over $1,000. But for right now, if you're looking for a budget gaming monitor, ultra wide, this is a very good option. Yes, it is adjustable. You can adjust the monitor up and down up and down as well and i actually bought the visa stand to eliminate those uh the base because that's one thing that i don't like about the base that it's kind of wide and it occupies a lot of space in my desk so i did purchase a, a single monitor stand for the monitor to eliminate and to gain all that space back which is going to be the first time i actually do that with this monitor since it actually has 
uh, visa compatibility, 100 millimeter visa compatibility, we can actually do that. And I'm going to do that during the weekend. Maybe I'll upload or record a video for the stand itself, which actually cost me around 60 bucks. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about it. If you have any questions about the monitor, please leave it in the comments. And if you want to get this monitor or try and read a little bit more about this monitor, just hit the link in the video description and you can get the monitor from there. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Bye-bye.